semifinal matchup is upon us on Championship Sunday at the 2021 A-Sun Beach Volleyball Championship. We are live at the Cooper Beach Volleyball Courts, Stetson University in the land, and a grudge match between second seeded North Florida and third seed FGCU for the right to meet Stetson in the finals. Welcome aboard with my partner, Aaron Campbell, the former UCF star. I'm Tom James. Well, this is a rematch from Friday when the Eagles took down the Ospreys, Aaron, and really all kinds of motivation for these two with a chance to meet Stetson later today. Yeah, and we talk about that match. You know, it was a 4-1 and one match. We don't really see the context of it. Sometimes the, those match st scores don't really show us the full picture. Super closely contested. Now keep in mind, both of these teams have had a long road to get here. This will be UNF's fifth match. Mm. FGCU trailing behind them at one. This will be their fourth match overall. There's gotta be fatigue that plays sure. into this. So that's something we'll keep an eye out for today. And Aaron, you talked about all the work that UNF has had to do. They coming out of that snake bit that is the elimination yeah. bracket. They had to eliminate Mercer yesterday. And then later in the afternoon, Coastal Carolina. So. Fatigue, as you said, could play a little bit of a factor. For FGCU, only one match yesterday when they lost to Stetson in the winner's bracket. They'd love another crack at them later today. Underway with Hansen and Lichty for FGCU. And Lauren Galinas, Carly Seminiak for North Florida. The four pairs on court one. Big attempt. And Aaron, I, I dare say, for the first time today, we just saw the sun peek out yes. on the second point of this duel. Yeah, we're a little bit delayed due to some lightning earlier this morning, but so far the weather's held out since then. So we're fortunate enough to be able to play here today. Sun wants to come out. It's just hiding a little bit. Oh, great get by Hansen. Melinda's trying to be tricky. Semenia. Over on two, uh, just a little miscue from Hansen. Licky trying to make sure she can reach for that ball. And the Osprey is out to a 2-1 start. As you take a look at Carly Seminiak, the 5-9 grad from oh. uh, FAU transfer. Good start for the Ospreys. Seminiak, a two-lane transfer. A redshirt junior, Galinius, the grad transfer from FAU. This pair 21 and 13 on the season. Oh, great read by Hanson. Good get by Seminiak. Oh, with the net trickler over. I mean, you, you just see how the defeat in the, the defense when that happens. Making a good read. Oh. <laughs> We've talked so much about the tape of the net this weekend and uh, how it can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Absolutely. Oh, and great spot, middle, middle. Inside the line, kind of in no man's land, if you will. We know this pair of Hansen and Lichty, they can be, you know, a little slow to start. You know, they've got to find their rhythm a little bit. They find their rhythm a little bit slower in the duels that we've seen against a really tough force pair in Semenyak and Glenis, you definitely want to make sure that you are matching that intensity, and so far they just haven't been able to do that. Well, Galenis, a firecracker personality, the big lefty with a huge kill right there, and as they change ends after every seven points, what a start for the Ospreys on top, six to one, best two out of three sets, first to 21, win by two, if it goes to a third set, it's a sprint to 15. Great get by Semenyak. Oh, great conversion. That's where UNF is so good. They're good at defending and they're good at putting their stamp on ending the rally. Every transition point is so smooth, especially with this fours pair in Semenyak and Glennis. They do that so well. They don't let the rallies go on for so long. They just get a really nice dig and put it away. And Hansen 
Gonna answer right back for FGCU, and that is a point that they really needed. Yeah, and just out of reach for Galenis and Semeniak, they both go after it. But Hansen, you know, she has a lot of experience under her belt. Makes the good play. Great drop shot from Semeniak. Finding the spot on the court with Hansen playing a little back. Linus from Delray Beach, Florida. Five feet, eight inches tall, set to serve at 8-2. Great pass. You've got to read the defense before you try to take that one on two. Just looked like Lichty didn't even check where that defense was. Galenis didn't even really have to move. You've got to make sure you go to one of those corners on that play. Unfortunately, a miss hit by Galenis, but you know, if you're FGCU, this is the this is the the place that you want to be. You have Lichty serving. She has that really mean top spin when she has the consistent, just barely out. But those are points you don't want to give away when you're trying to fight back in the first set of your duel. I would guess early on, adrenaline, nerves. Um, fatigue. Fatigue <laughs> is also a big factor yeah. with all the volleyball that a both lot. clubs have played yes. over the last few days. So much. Oh, great get. Ah, just missed it. But you see how frustrating it would be to play against somebody like Semeniak and Glennis, right? You think you get this good swing, it hits the tape, the ball has fallen in, you know, against your favor a few times, but they're so scrappy and they pick that up that it's so frustrating for hitters when they have a defense that's just going to scramble and get everything. There's Lichty down into the corner, but it sails long. 10 to four, North Florida, and another end change, and a terrific start for this pair from UNF. And this four-pair duel right here on court one. We'll also keep tabs on the five-pair matchup happening just next door on court two. In this overall match, it's best three out of five. We'll have the one, two, and three pairs heading into action after these two are over. Well, we were watching UNF in warm-up, and man, they, the energy that everybody had, they had to kind of fake it till they made it, right? They've had such a long, they've had the marathon route to this. They're not climbing Mount Everest, basically, at yeah. this point. You know, they've just gone through so many different matches, and they had such great intensity, and it looks like that's carried on the court overall for everybody. You know, court two, they're up nine to five. They're up here 10 to five on this court. So that intensity is just hard to match. FGC just hasn't matched it yet. Well, as North Florida takes an 11-5 lead, head coach Kristen Wright of UNF said after yesterday was over that she knows that the Ospreys will have to come out on fire this morning against FGCU, and it sure looks like that's what they're doing. Yeah, there's fire in the belly. You're like that block. I mean, Hanson is an experienced attacker. That is just not even checking where the block is. Didn't see it at all until after she swung. Didn't track that ball at all. Even with that set being in front of her, she's got to take that two-second look to see what the block's doing. Semeniak's disciplined. Not the biggest jumper in the gym, but she's going to find what she needs to. There's Lichty. Got a big swing at it, and she comes through with a kill for FGCU. And a much needed kill for FGCU. When they get Lichty going with her attacks, they're tough. So far, Hansen's seen the majority of them because that's the strategy for UNF. Uh, just try to be too tricky. So the Eagles trying to string a few points together here to take back some of the momentum from this red hot Ospreys team. As you take a look at Emma Hansen, one of four players on the FGC roster this year with experience in the A-Sun Championship, and that one lands in. Hansen, a 5'7 junior. And arguably the most stoic player on the court. Yeah. Doesn't really show a lot of emotion. We've only seen her, I think, smile once or twice. As we head to the first break, it's been all UNF.
to this point as the Ospreys out to a 13-8 lead in this four-pair duel. What do you think is going to happen in this Phoenix game, Chuck? Well, I think Phoenix is going to win. Okay. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be high scoring. Okay. <laughs> Gary the boom. Yo, is, yo, TK, what's going on? What do you say about the total? Take the over. Yep. Yep. That's right. Yes. Are we still on the air? Man, y'all unprofessional. Oh, yeah. Take human bites. All customers get a risk-free same-game parlay on the NBA playoffs every week, only on FanDuel Sportsbook. Doug. Hey, Limu. How great is it that we get to tell everybody how Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need? I mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> meow, good evening. <laughs> oh, meow. <laughs> nope. Oh, what? I'm an emu. <laughs> no, buddy. Buddy, it's a filter. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. There you take a look at Lauren Galinas. 21 and 13 this season. The Ospreys with a 22 and 10 record coming into this match this morning. That includes the regular season and this weekend here at the ASUN Championship. Oh, what a touch proper. from Hanson. Little pepperoni on that slice, just right <laughs> in front of Galenis, who very rarely can't make a defensive play. Great spot from Hansen. You talked about Hansen being so stoic, and yeah, she is. She does, nothing rattles her good or bad, you know. You want to see her get all fired up. Great yeah. serve by Lichty. Here's Siminiak, right at Hansen. And a tough play when those come into the net for a player like Lichty to try to recover. Yeah, when you know that ball's hard driven, you know, she's trying to slow it down a little bit. It's almost like, all right, I know this ball's coming fast. If my only option is to go overhead, you just kind of tomahawk it back, you know, serve it back over, give your player some time to respond to it. Hanson, what a dig from Galinas. Almost kept it alive. So the serve goes back to FGCU and Emma Hanson. It's just a great read. Look how... Galenis just gets in there right at the last second, makes the read off of the hand of the attacker. Barely missed. FGCU. Oh, great serve down the middle. Good pass, though. And that one lands inside the line. Fifteen ten. This first set has moved quickly. This pair of Galinas and Seminiak have won five straight coming into this duel. Hansen, oh, deceiving yeah. going inside out inside cross court. Out all day, and you know, I think that's the challenge is that what's really, you know, Galinas is very good at moving laterally, right? So you have to make her move forward and back all the time. We've seen her be able to get those balls where she's moving laterally. Push her forward and backward too. You're adding another direction, north, south, east, and west, for her to try to read. Siminiak. Good get by Han Hansen and Lichty. Oh, Inside the line. It's a bit of a rainbow, but it'll work. <laughs> and just like that, you know, we thought this set was getting a little bit too far away for FGCU, but with a few points, they're right back in it. And with the speed at how these duels go, you really, you know, five points is not a lot of breathing room at all. Mm. That great serve from Lichty. Oh, too much power from Siminiak. 16-12. Well, change ends once again. Talk about how red hot this UNF team has been with the five straight wins coming into this. They were victorious in straight sets yesterday against Mercer, the robertson Santry pair, and then straight sets again against Coastal Carolina, Ginther, and Hanford. So they are on fire this weekend. 
and the only match where they've gone extra, or the only duel they've gone extra, is against FGCU. It went to three. Just yesterday. So we know that these two teams, I'm sorry, that's the end of the first day. We know that these two teams ha can go the distance because they are so competitive against one another. Big rivalry here. Big kill from Seminiak. She's doing work up there at the net. No signs of fatigue from mm -mm. Seminiak at all. Seventeen, thirteen. Great get by Lichty. Lichty. Galinas, and that one sails wide. FGCU will have the serve back at 14-17, and the Eagles' record coming into this today is 17 and 14 on the season, and that includes regular season and this weekend here at the A Sun Championship. They're Overall team record, they're the third seed against this second seeded Ospreys club. Into the open court, Suminiak. Experience, experience, experience. I mean, takes a full approach, that arm swing goes up super high at the last second, changes the speed. Hanson, an experienced defender, cannot make that read accurately because of the deception from Semenyak. Here's Hansen and into the net. She was in a tough place yeah. right there, just a little behind the net, a few feet back from it. It's a tough shot. It's all about ball control. When you're trying to fight back, you have to do the fundamentals. And it's putting the, get a nice pass, control the tempo of the pass. Get it in the middle of the court. Oh, Good and look at Lichty. Lichty over on the two and on the line. Great call by Lichty to get that play. We've noticed that teams that become more aggressive on that second ball, it's always in their favor. The game skews in their favor a little bit more. People that stay traditional three ball tend to struggle just a little bit. And just out. Oh, the tape against her that time. Kind of rolled along the top of the tape for a second or two. So FGCU at... 16-19, trying to claw back in the late stages of this first set. North Florida knocking on the door. Meanwhile, over on court two, just an update in the five-pair matchup over there. FGCU's Bands and Rosales versus Kane and McMillan of UNF. That is tied 15-all in the first set. So we'll keep you posted. Hanson. It's blocked, and so the point goes to the Eagles. They pull to within two. Can't ever count them out. In system, FGCU is arguably one of the best in this tournament. So again, once that serve received, that ball control gets settled down for the Eagles, they're tough to beat. UNF being probably one of the <laughs> better teams as well when they're in system. There you take a look at Kristen Wright, the head coach of North Florida in her third season with her pair. Of course, her husband, Doug, one of the assistants on this team. And for FGCU, Chris Sweat the head coach as he is encouraging his pair they're still in this thing 1917 getting them fired up coming out of this timeout of course Chris Sweat the brother-in-law of pro beach volleyball player Brooke Sweat is headed for the Olympics, we hope, this summer. Here's Semeniak winding up and firing down the middle, which brings the Ospreys to set point. As they look at the umpire to try to remember 
whose turn it is to serve, Aaron. You get so wrapped up in the match, you forget that sometimes. Well, you're switching sides, you're su switching players, you're switching <laughs> positions, you're always switching. <laughs> Lots to remember out there. Galinas. Here's Hanson. Oh, yeah, look at the power from the 5'7", Hanson. Staying alive at 2018. Hungry for a win is Hanson. You can tell her competitors coming out a little bit. You know, we say she's stoic. I think it's just seriousness and focus. She's really dialed in right now. Hoping Lichty serve can continue the streak for them. Oh, just oh and it just sails wide. The big serve from Maddie Lichty. And that does it for set number one on court one. The Ospreys win at 21-18. We'll check in on court two when we come back to the land. Championship action is when the A-Sun is at its finest. That's why you'll want to visit asunphotos.com. A-Sun Photos is present at every A-Sun Championship, capturing the action, including those must-have shots that you may have missed or want to save for a memory. We understand your passion. So when you want to relive those favorite moments, players, and special memories, start with the experts from asunphotos.com. Championship action is when the A-Sun is at its finest. That's why you'll want to visit asunphotos.com. A-Sun Photos is present at every A-Sun Championship, capturing the action, including those must-have shots that you may have missed or want to save for a memory. We understand your passion. So when you want to relive those favorite moments, players, and special memories, start with the experts from asunphotos.com. the second set here on court one. UNF took the first set. Galinas and Seminiak 21-18 and an update from next door court two. The Ospreys pair, the five pair of Carolyn Kane and Chantel McMillan have just taken the first set over Ooh. Bonds and Rosales of FGCU 21-19. Kill off the chest of Hansen. Things I didn't think I was going to say today. <laughs> <laughs> Just went right over, popped in, easy kill. And you know, UNF came on both courts, four and five are just like hot. They are ready, they're hungry to play. Stetson, they want to take this away from FGCU, but you know, is it a caffeine buzz? Is that fire gonna burn out? We will mm -hmm. see as these duels continue. Yeah, can FGCU weather that storm? Because clearly it does feel like the energy is burning hotter yeah. for the Ospreys as a whole, both the pairs that are playing and they're uh, teammates uh, in back of the court. Well, and that's the thing, you know, does because the fire burns hotter, it burns out faster. You know, with it FTCU, could. very leveled. So it's really, we're seeing completely different teams yeah. right now, you know. Totally different attitudes coming into this day. Well, the adrenaline has definitely carried UNF to first set victories on these two courts. And a little help from the net, that'll fire you up as well. You take it any way you can get it. That's right. GCU lost in the winner's bracket yesterday, 4-1 to Stetson. They'd love another crack at him, as would UNF. And that one is just long. 
Lichty doesn't have a block in front of her. I don't know why she's trying to be too tricky, especially knowing how defensive-minded Semeniak and Glennis are. Use your power in those situations. You're, there's no point in conserving energy right now, because if you do, you're gonna have to start fighting back from already being down 2-0. Look at this battle. You're already having to battle back from a, a first set loss. Just be aggressive in everything you do today. That's the key. Four straight for the Ospreys. Here comes Hansen over the top. Beautiful play from Emma Hansen. And turned her back on that one a little fast, but you know what? Galinas almost had that. You want to make sure you watch that ball and you track it all the way till it hits that sand because against UNF, anything can happen. There's Hansen who teaming with Garter two years ago at this A-Sun Championship in the finals versus Stetson as the three pair. They, uh, check that as the four pair, took a very important match uh, duel against the Hatters that put FGCU on top 2-1 in the finals. They were on the brinks. The Hatters had to scramble back, and they did. They came back to win it and win the championship. But a lot of experience for Hansen in big moments in this tournament. And that's a shot Galenis misses a lot, so it's actually a good read to kind of have that pull off the net against her, especially when she's out of system. Now, Lichty should block her when it's tight to the net because we know how powerful Galenis is, but in that scenario, peeling off is the right call. The end of the net from Seminiak. She's done that a couple of times here, along with some great kills. First set and change of this duel. And a rare error. She is so high efficiency. Just didn't see where she was with the net, was tracking the ball too long. You have to make sure you either, you know, have that sense of awareness of where the net is or take a quick peek at where you are in relation to it. Good serve by Lichty, out of system play for Galenis. Down the middle, is it good? It's on the line. It was awfully close back there. Here's gonna be a good look at it. Oh yeah, that's in. Back just inside the line. Hansen, too much power. Great spot for Hansen. Was gonna be, have a block in front of her, but recognized it at the last second that as Semeniak's moving backwards, she's gonna have to stop and then try to make a play overhead probably won't have a good dig location. Forces that out of system, that ball's out. Well, this pair of Galinas and Seminiak of uh, UNF, when these two schools met on Friday, FGCU won 4-1. But this was the only pair that was able to defeat FGCU in a duel. <laughs> Defeating Hanson and Lichty two days ago. So. Uh, a little revenge opportunity for the FGCU pair. And so far, a close second set here. You know, these two teams and two pairs and players have seen each other quite frequently over the last few years. It goes long. Definitely a rivalry happening between these two programs. Mm -hmm. At the court, had a wide open lane there. Getting some good strategy from Coach Kristen Wright, talking about how they want to play against this pair. Now these two pairs have seen each other quite frequently, like we said over the past few years. There's a lot of tendency, a lot of history kind of baggage that can come along with these. You know what each player is going to do. You have a good track record on what their tendencies are in tough situations. So it couldn't be more evenly matched. Mm -hmm. Coach Chris Sweat talking uh, after the action yesterday. They lost, did FGCU to Stetson. And he said, when you want to beat the best, you have to play your best. And uh, big kill right there from Sminiak, but uh, 
talked about how there were way too many errors from FGCU against such a great team yeah. like the Hatters for them to be able to beat a team of that caliber. Yeah, and you know, I think what happens, we have see, we kind of see this happening in this match already between these two duels is that they just air themselves out so early that you, you're already trying so hard to try to win and you, you're starting off not only an underdog, but four points behind because of how many errors you have happened in those first few points. That one landed in from Lichty. Big kill from Galinas. The Delray Beach native tying it at nine apiece. Action over on court two again, like it was in the first set, also very close. UNF took the first set there as well. Oh, you got. Again, the net, the friend of Carly Semeniak that time. Boy, she is getting all the breaks right now from that it. net. I mean, you can't do anything about that except, you know, give a little hustle. The second that ball hits the net, you just see them deflate a little bit. Yeah. Keep playing, that that point isn't over yet. Hanson. Good shot. Beautiful. Terrific as Coach Sweat gets up to encourage his team quickly. It's anybody's duel at this point. North Florida going into the timeout, leading by one with a set in hand. Stay with us live from the A-Sun Championship. Star, we believe in better. And that's just what we give our members. Better convenience so they can bank any way they want. Whether it's walking into a branch, managing accounts on a mobile device, or using one of the 20,000 free ATMs across North America. It all comes down to the belief that people have better things to do with their time. If you believe that convenience is better, join ViStar. We never forget that it's your money. FGCU contingent on hand. It really feels like the UNF group, though, is louder at this point. Of course, they do have the lead on both of these courts. We started this championship on Friday, Aaron, with seven schools, and we are down to three. FGCU and UNF battling for the right to meet Stetson later this afternoon for the title. Hansen, the one this time that gets a little love from the net. And a lot of net lets mean that players have some fatigued legs. They think they're getting a little bit higher than they are, and they're not. So that, that is a little bit of a sign of fatigue. We've seen a lot more today than in previous days of this tournament. So again, something we really need to keep a keen eye on as we go through the rest, the rest of these duels. Lichty. Oh. oh, and she got help from the net, and then Galena sort of toppled over top of Semeniak. They've done that, you know, they did that once yesterday, they've done that once today. <laughs> Galena is just so ball tracking, she doesn't even see her player in front of her yeah. sometimes. Don't mean to laugh, but. I mean, everybody's both, okay. Everybody's fine, yeah. and they, they're just both want to Eager. make that play so badly. Yeah. Oh, great spot. Good get, though, by Sminiak. Hanson. What a point. Lichty. Oh. And 
FGCU wins it, and I thought perhaps earlier in that point, Seminiak may have played what would have been an out ball yeah. from FGCU. It's always iffy. Yeah. 13-11, the Eagles have opened up a two-point lead. Got to have this second set to force a third. Lichty's serve goes long. And we've talked several times over the weekend about the strength and weakness of yeah. Lichty's serve. I mean, at its best, it may be the best serve in this entire championship, but she's still working yeah. on harnessing it. Um, there are some mistakes that, that come out of that great serve. When yeah. it's clicking, it's tough to yeah. tough to contend with. Where that serves, serve goes, they go. You know, when that serve is high error, the team is high error in general for this pair. So it's a good kind of gauge for where they are. Great shot by Hanson, middle, middle. Hanson serving from Go way over there in the corner. Just, just a, missing. Oh. It's a good aggressive swing, though. You know, you'll take an error like that because it really is aggressive in a situation where you're kind of on your heels a little bit. You want your players to be a little bit more energetic, take the initiative to be more aggressive. That's one of those errors you're okay with as a coach. There's Hanson, and she misses about the same yeah. spot. And all of a sudden, a mini run from North Florida. We're tied at 14 apiece. Hanson from Trophy Club, Texas. There you see the UNF pair right there. Seminiak getting set to serve. She is from north of the border. Carly Seminiak from Whitby, Ontario in Canada. Transferred in from Tulane. Very calm demeanor of these two. Galinius there in front of her. Much more fiery. Net working against the Ospreys that time. You know, we talked about how FGCU had that lead, and just like that, compounding errors are just the momentum killers. They are everything. You can cannot afford to have back-to-back -back errors in such a tight duel and such a tight match. You really have to think a little bit smarter when you're making those swings after an error. Oh, great serve. Great pass, though, by Smeniak. Hanson. It's long. Had a good look at it there. 15 all. And the second set on court two tied now. 13 all. You knew it would be close. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jump serve that time from Linus. Oh, great spot. Yeah. And checked it. And that's the difference. Because that ball was set in front of Lichty, she had time to read the ball. So it's all about that first pass location. If you get it in the right spot, you can have that set that's leading you into it. You're already seeing and tracking what the defense is doing. The kill from Seminiak. Back and forth they go in this all-important second set. It'll be Seminiak to serve, 16 in all. To Hansen. Linus, great dig from Hansen. Oh, what a get. Watch it over on two. Oh, uh, right back to the spot. Lichty, Great hustle by Lichty, though. Well, she did such a, an incredible job of tracking that one down, making that play to get it over the net. But then was caught in retreat here. And credit Semenyuk for knowing where to place that. Yeah, you just got to be stopped. Doesn't matter if you're in the right or wrong place. 
if you're still moving in one direction as that swing happens, you can't change direction. You're stuck. Critical moments here in the second set. North Florida now on top, 18-16. Ross. It's good. A surge late in this set from UNF. They're on the brink. And this is just about effort. I mean, this is that's the difference right now. UNF would have two bodies going for that ball, where FGC is just letting it go. If you want to win, you have to lay yourself out. They're, you're going home after this. If you don't win, this is it. You know, you have to. You have to really be aggressive on defense. Defense is all about being aggressive in your reads, in your activities. You've got to put that effort in. There's no going back. There is no tomorrow. Today or bust. Seminiak with a slam dunk kill, which gives North Florida four points to win this duel. Two from Hansen. Lichtie sends it wide. And the Ospreys win this four pair duel in straight sets 21 19, 21 16. I mean, it's all about effort. FGCU thought they won that rally on that first play. But here comes UNF willing to sacrifice. Their bodies get in the sand, get dirty. That's what. That's why they won. It's all effort, you know, every single piece of it. Good kudos to UNF for coming out hot and playing like they had a fire in their belly because they certainly showed us, put that on display today. As we zone in next door on court two, UNF's five pair of Kane and McMillan have taken the first set now in set two. They lead 19-15. And a timeout is called for FGCU assistant coach Matt Botsford over there, along with Doug Wright, the, one of the assistants for UNF. I know it's Tense right now because should UNF win this duel, are they ever in the driver's seat? With three duels left, that would force FGCU to have to win yeah. all three right. of the ones, twos, threes that will come up after this. And with the way UNF is fired up on every single team right now, I don't, you know, on paper, FGCU may be a little bit better of a team, but I mean, with someone that's that hungry, with a team that's that hungry, it's it's just completely leveled the playing field. Well, the energy that UNF, the players in its contingent have brought this morning yeah. is tough to contend with. I mean, everybody with a with UNF gear on is fired up big time. FGCU seems a little shell-shocked right now. As they come out of this timeout, Carolyn Kane, Chantel McMillan, two points away from winning this duel. Rosales. <laughs> Can't make it happen. Now it's 2015 for the Ospreys. An end change. What a block right there.
corner, it's good. The Eagles stay alive on that shot from Rosales. They win the duel of the five pairs on court two. And Aaron, the Ospreys now in the driver's seat in this semifinal match. Absolutely, and against a tough FGCU team, that's what you want. You want those you know, fours and fives to set you up for success in those part two duels. A jubilant UNF pair right there, Kane and McMillan. UNF now has won the first two duels. We've got the ones, the twos, and the three pairs coming up next. We'll focus, of course, on court one with the top pairs for each of these schools coming up next at the A-Sun Beach Volleyball Championship. There are no pecan chicken salad sandwich wars out there. Nope. This Arby's made-to-order masterpiece can't be topped. Except very literally by Honey Wheat. Arby's, we have the meat. Riding a bike should be a really fun experience. We make low-maintenance bicycles for everyday riders. We were coming off a great year, and when the pandemic hit, it just stopped. We really had to think creatively. Teams allowed us to do what we call virtual visits. Hey, is that TK? Hi, how are you? We're able to see two or threefold the amount of customers from all over the world. Without teams, there's no way this would have been possible. And I really think it's going to set a standard for retail moving forward. At Chewy, we believe feeling good comes first. That's why we offer veterinary diets, prescriptions, even compounded medications customized for your pet so you can get what they need to feel healthy. Shop America's number one pet pharmacy. Visit Chewy.com today. What if these were hidden until they turned on? What if we made this bigger and this even more capable? Question everything. We did in the all-new Hyundai Tucson. We miss going to the games we love, but we have reason to hope. Vaccines are rolling out. Get informed. Talk to your doctor. Let's do our part to protect each other. And get back in the game. I never knew what Tyson and I was going to get. He looked like he could kill somebody. I was terrified by that brother. The staggering documentary event. Look at me. The Knockout, tomorrow night on ABC. Day three, Championship Sunday at the A-Sun Beach Volleyball Championships here at the Cooper Beach Volleyball Courts in Deland. And we have just seen the first two duels play out uh, between UNF and FGCU for the right to go to the finals. And the UNF pair of Galinas and Semenyak, just too much for FGCU, Aaron. Yeah, and FGCU really had a chance to come out in this match and kind of get some revenge against a a pair of players that they had lost to previously, and just UNF, I mean, give them so much credit. The effort, the relentless pursuit, the defense, just unrivaled in this match, all over the place, great dig locations. They were just, they wanted it a little bit more, it seemed like, with effort and activity, and just, like I said, relentless pursuit in this forest match, and they're excited about it. Now they're up 2-0 in the match. They are the five pair winning on court two as well. So all the Ospreys need now is one dual victory out of the three that are on tap coming up next. Stay with us, we're live on ESPN Plus. A made to order creamy Mediterranean chicken wrap from a drive-thru. The perfect combo of freshly prepared food and ordering Arby's Market Fresh through a tiny little speaker box. Arby's.
movies, we have the meat. Riding a bike should be a really fun experience. We make low maintenance bicycles for everyday riders. We were coming off a great year and when the pandemic hit. It just stopped. We really had to think creatively. Teams allowed us to do what we call virtual visits. Hey, is that TK? Hi, how are you? We're able to see two or threefold the amount of customers from all over the world. Without teams, there's no way this would have been possible. And I really think it's gonna set a standard for retail moving forward. Grubhub Perks give you deals on all the food that makes your buggy. Get the food you love with perks from Grub What You Love. Outdoorsy is a platform to connect RV owners with RV renters. Renting it out as an RV was an option I never thought of. But as soon as I looked at how simple they made it, I was hooked. They had everything covered, background checks, driver's license checks, insurance. It gives us peace of mind knowing that everything's taken care of. We're trying to build a business. I mean, something that we can hand down to our kids and grow a legacy for all of us. Every Sunday night. It's baseball for all of us. Braves, Mets. Give us Sunday night baseball on ESPN. months with the WW app and I'm down 20 pounds. You want to see how I do it? It'll blow your mind. Strong start on my activity points today so I don't have to skip any rope and I don't have to skip any meals, which is great because I hate doing both. Still think about pizza. And I still get to eat it too. With WW, I can enjoy the food I want when I want. Download the WW app and join now. WW Weight Watchers Reimagined. Try WW today with a 14-day free trial. Why haven't you joined yet? Oh, because you're waiting for this commercial to end. I get it. Your next memory is out there. It might be a small one or a giant leap. Maybe it's a memory of you alone or one with him or them. It could feel like magic or it might just warm your heart. Your next memory is out there. It's just waiting to be made. To new memories, Hilton and our family of hotels. We're always going in different directions. We're always on the go. She was gone 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. She used to text me all the time. It was frustrating for them, and it was frustrating for us. With Life 360, now it's just a check of the phone. This is home. We don't have to constantly check in. They know exactly where we are. I like how it gives you your distance, so I can kind of manage my time. I can see when she's driving, <laughs> live, real time. I have a place alert near my favorite fast food chain. Mom, can you give me fast food, please? We don't have to text and call like we used to. It's really changed our lives. Fix things fast with Thumbtack. You're finally the king of your own castle, and it feels pretty great. But your castle has leaks, which feels like this. And you need an electrician, because wires are scary. And then there's the ants. So you use Thumbtack to find who you need. You can check out reviews, prices, and book your favorite pros in the app. Anytime something breaks, you can get it fixed fast. It's good to be king. Find pros for any home project. Download Thumbtack today. Grubhub Perks give you deals on the food you love. The kind of deals that make you boogie. Get the food you love with perks from Grub What You Love. We're for those who love to discover. 
who know an open mind is the only kind, who don't need to travel to find something new, who know where to escape, even just for a moment, who don't need a fortune to find a gem, and who know when you spend less, you can discover even more and never, ever stop discovering. Spend less, discover more at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Every Sunday night, it's baseball for all of us. I am so excited. Let's play two. <laughs> Plays out and makes the catch. <laughs> See ya. Give us. Give, us. Give, us. Give us. Give us. Give us. Give us the Braves and the Mets on Sunday Night Baseball. Sunday at 7 on ESPN. Telecast presented by Taco Bell. Sun is out as we welcome you back to DeLand on campus at Stetson University for the A-Sun Championship. And well, that's where we are. Stetson, of course, yesterday afternoon advanced past FGCU. They are laying in wait for the winner of this match, UNF and FGCU. And the championship will be this afternoon, 1.30, live right here on ESPN+. Plus. Of course, the Ospreys leading the Eagles right now. Two duels to none, an uphill climb, Aaron, for FGCU. Absolutely, and you know, UNF came into this championship Sunday with a fire in their belly. So far in those fours and fives pairs matches or duels, we weren't really, FGCU just couldn't rival that. And hopefully for FGCU, they sweep the second half of these matches very, very closely contested all around, but our focus today is going to be on court one, a few names we're really familiar with. So take a look at Donna Roskic and Antonia Harrison for UNF, the one pair. And Giovanni Borgiati and Kirstein Garter for the Eagles. These are the two pairs, the best that the Eagles and Ospreys have to offer. And a showdown here on court one. It's a must win for FGCU. Same case on court two and court three with the two and three pairs. And a good start, Antonia Harrison. Getting UNF the first point. And we know Don Donna Roskic is one of the best defenders out here in this tournament. You can't give her free balls. You've got to really make her move left and right, north, south, east, and west, add some power in there, make it harder on defense, because she covers just about everything. That's the spot that she can. <laughs> and is dang near close to getting it. We had rain this morning early on. It dampened things a little bit, but uh, the forecast seems to be playing out as was expected. The sun is coming out. It's clearing up at the A-Sun Championship. We saw that uh, familiar chicken wing right there for Kirstein Garter when she tries to dig. We've seen this several times. There's that shot that you've pointed out a couple of times, Aaron. I'm going to now nickname her with the chef because she's always serving up these chicken wings. <laughs> Borgiati right there, I think it was uh, last second decision to go ahead and play that one and thought might, it could have been going out. Borgiati, big kill, big moment for the Eagles. They needed that. Yeah, that's a good block win. <laughs> good attack win for Borgiati against a tough block from Antonio Harrison. We've seen her level teams out with her relentlessness at the net, being the wall, being the blocker. Good win for Borgiati. Harrison, little drop shot cross court. 4-2 Ospreys. Really nice chop, a little bit too far away, didn't actually quite have her feet there, so the power was out. She wasn't gonna be able to make a power shot because of her body position. Had to make something out of it. And again, just being the dominant presence at the net, Antonia Harrison 
all over the place, moving left, right, finding that same, almost exact same spot she got on her last kill with that one. Putting that one into the open court. Here's Roskick from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the red shirt sophomore serving. Borgiati. And Roskic, Carter keeping it alive. Incredible play. And Roskic. Again. Oh, right <laughs> over the block. Harrison tries to reach a little bit over that. Just too much. Great spot from Borgiati and good hustle by Carter. Some dinks and dunks right there as Borgiati able to come up with the one that got them the point. Carter to serve. Good read by Garter, good block set up by Borgiati. Doesn't, oh, good spot. Make Harrison reach for that. Good dig from Garter. Puts it and away, it. and it's right on the line. Kirstein Garter, lots of power. And really finds like one inch inside of that court. That's a great shot. She can hit that every time. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. That one's on the line. So things going right for FGCU as you take a look at Carter from Halden, Norway, a 5'10 junior. A lot of experience in this A-Sun championship with a big pairs win two years ago in the finals over Stetson, and that one sails long. Of course, FGCU not able to win that entire match two years ago, but Garter played a big role to push the Hatters to the brink. Tonia Harrison now serving. Borgiati. With the D1 crossbody, thumbs up. Sweet spot down the line. <laughs> Giovanna Borgiati, the grad 5'10 from Vienna, Virginia. Ooh, Garter's right there. Drop that knee. She's had. She has that dig. She wanted to keep that knee out of the sand. If she dropped it down, would have had that good location. Could have kind of collapsed on that ball. Save that dig. Take some of the heat off. Keep it on her side. Garter taking a stroll up to the chair umpire to wipe off her glasses. UNF pair set to serve. It'll be Roskic, all-time career winning percentage leader in UNF history. And Garter takes a tumble. Might have to wipe off the shades once again after that one as they'll change ends. Eight, six, Ospreys. And same thing. That hip comes out. There's no way, unless she really, really drops that inside right shoulder, that she can bring that ball back. She's got to try to keep that core behind the ball. I know it's harder in the sand, but you still have to be able to use that, that platform of the core to drop that shoulder in and make that pass. There's an art to cleaning your sunglasses. You've got to get every grain of sand out of there. I mean, thank God for scratch-resistant lenses, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, that sand's like grit right on those. Roskic puts it in play, leading 8-6, first set. Has the line again. Oh, good block by Harrison, though. Hangs out. That's the beauty of Harrison. She has this amazing hang time that you think she's going to drop, but she hangs out in the air for just a split second and can make that reach with that ring finger. Good slow down at the net. Turns that into a free ball. Good get by Garter. This is a good matchup. Oh, good read by Roskic. Roskic down good the line. Good get by Garter! Oh! oh, incredible! Kirstein Garter saving the point for FGCU with the 
the dive, the dig, and it lands in. <laughs> she goes again. You can see her getting frustrated. She has to wipe her sunglasses off again. But you know what? <laughs> She'll take all the wipes as long as it means she gets a point. You yeah. know, an effort certainly not in question for this once pair right now. They are both sides covered in sand. Not let anything touch the ground without a second touch. That's the way it ought to be, especially when you reach Championship Sunday. It's so much at stake. Garter and Hansen defeated Roskich and Harrison when they matched up on Friday oh, in straight job. sets, 21-19, 23-21. Trying to do it again two days later. That Friday dual victory was part of FGCU's 4-1 win over the Ospreys. Good shot. Great, great pass. Good dig location. Good set by Harrison. Leaves that line shot wide open. Borgiotti's got some springs in her feet, so that one area is wide open for that kill down the line. Just hard to make a play on that defensively. Oh, good slowdown by Harrison. Same spot, just higher. Yep, good get. Yeah, it's gonna be a double. But because Harrison has that hang time, she's gonna be able to make that extra reach on that high ball. So you have to go a little bit higher to go over it down the line or else it turns into like what it just did, a free ball situation. Oh, great pass. Good shot. Carter hits the tape on the line. And it's 11 to nine. And that's why UNF is really going after Borgiotti because Garter just has so many weapons. Not that Borgiotti doesn't, but so far, Air free from Garter in this first set of this duel. Garter so powerful. Dig. Blocked at the net by Harrison. The stuff. That's always a big momentum builder, Aaron. Absolutely. Another look at it. Great way to go to the timeout if you're the Ospreys and they lead it 12-9 per set. What do you think is going to happen in this Phoenix game, Chuck? Well, I think Phoenix is going to win. Okay. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be high scoring. Okay. <laughs> Gary to boom. Yo, is, yo, TK, what's going on? What do you say about the total? Take the over. Yep. Yep. That's right. Yes. Are we still on the air? Man, y'all unprofessional. Oh, yeah. Take human bites. All customers get a risk-free same-game parlay on the NBA playoffs every week, only on FanDuel Sportsbook. With over 200 flavor notes to discover, every sip of Woodford Reserve bourbon is a spectacle for the senses. Is the St. Louis Zoo open? St. Louis Zoo is open until 5 p.m. Take me there. Sure, St. Louis Zoo. Get help getting there. UNF and FGCU. A battle between the one pairs. Kirstein Garter set to serve at 9-12. Here in the opening set for FGCU. She's... Seven and three all time. Check that seven and four all time in the ASUN tournament. Gets that serve into the net. And again, errors, errors, errors when you're trying to fight for your life. Man, how it's like a magnifying glass on those situations when you have those errors. Oh, great swing. Borgiotti just finds the seam. A little bit off the net, and against Harrison, you kind of have to set those balls off the net. You don't want to trap your hitter against a big blocker like that. You really want to make, give that distance, allow the attacker to make that read. Oh, another one. Giotti, and that's two service errors oh. in a row for the Eagles. And it's those kinds Given of unforced errors that Coach Chris Sweat 
uh, was talking about after yesterday's action that really hurt them against Stetson. Uh, and the dropper from Roskich. That dipping serve, so tough to contend with. Just dies as it comes across the net. Timeout called for by the Eagles. They trail it 15-11 here in the opening set. Assistant coach Matt Bodsford, who's also the head coach of the indoor volleyball crew at FGCU. And he's, of course, worked with this beach volleyball team, though, for many, many years. The former head coach of beach until Chris Sweat came along to take over the helm for beach volleyball. And they work so well together. And I've got to ask you, Aaron Campbell, while we have a moment, uh, you were such a terrific indoor volleyball player at UCF. Differences for those that are just, you know, casual fans between indoor volleyball and beach volleyball. So it's kind of like tennis and racquetball, right? Where you basically have the same equipment with some modifications, but the strategy and how you play the game are completely different. Even when you look at like tennis and pickleball, you know, the Again, relatively similar equipment, totally different game. Indoor, you've got six players. It's about power. Beach, it's about finesse. And you get a little bit of power when you have Borgiati Power for Borgiati, that's right. But it's all about trying to find those teams. You only have two players on the court. The court's a little bit smaller than it is in the indoor court. You just have to find those spots that your opponent isn't. And it's really just being tricky. Oh, good get by Borgiati. Watch it coming over on two. Yep, good get. Woo! Big power again from Borgiati. And how that ball died on that set. She really only had the one shot cross court. But it's a great setup. Looks like the block and Harrison didn't drift with the ball. So really, Borgiati kind of left one on one with no blocker in front of her. Borgiati 10 and 5 all time in the A Sun tournament. Christine Garter to serve now. Oh, great spot. Diving in is Borgiati. Great read by Roskich to go off that left hand. Harrison to serve the redshirt junior from Auckland, New Zealand. Great shot. And that's the, the shot, that's the shot she's had trouble with against Harrison because of Harrison's ability to block that one a little bit higher, drops in. Tough for Ros Ro Roskich, who's probably used to Harrison <laughs> touching that ball to make the read. Set for Roskich. Oh, tried the chopper. Just lands wide. 16-15. Rusk is trying to use her un her dusted off tomahawk. You know, we <laughs> learned that in early volleyball how to do that. Just outside. Just like that. Wow. Tied back up. Quick timeout. So it's even at 16 apiece. Got a little bit of spin on it. Didn't track it all the way, but it came out of her hands at two different times. It's, you know, milliseconds away from each other. Rule, to, rule to lift. Yep. Right there. Mm -hmm. Rule to lift, yep. Tied at 16 all. Pivotal moments right here as we give you a little update on court two, where the two pairs over there, FGCU leading. It's 18-14 uh, in the first set. Casey Johnson and Kayla Whetstone. So that's good news if you're an FGCU fan, as is the development over on court three. As the three pair has won the first set for FGCU, Richmond and Hamilton. 
Of course, FGCU's got to win all three of these duels to rally back and advance past UNF. And two's pair for UNF. I mean, these guys are kind of the X factor for this team. I mean, I love watching that pair play. I won or lost on that court a few times for them this weekend with that pair. Harrison, beautiful shot. Just out of the reach of Kirstein Garner. And may have been going out, may have been. Good play though by Garner just to at least try to get a hand on it in case it was in. Roskic from down in the corner where she likes to serve from. Oh, great spot, just out of reach for Roskic. Made the right read behind Harrison, but the location just a little bit too deep as she has to run laterally. To make that dig, she's gonna have to almost make like a U shape and she doesn't have time to really get around that ball. 17 all. Ooh. Oh, and it's wide. Just out. Great play though, great idea. On court two right now, it's set point for the FGCU pair. And that does it there. Johnson and Whetstone for the Eagles have won the first set on court two. Hamilton and Parmalee have won the first set for the Eagles on court three. This is a very important of course, then oh. what happens on court one as Garter puts it into the net. Stays on the ground to avoid a service error and serves it in the net. Oh man, it's gotta kill you. Good matchup by Borgiati and Harrison at the net. Watch the second over. Good get by Garter with the knuckler. Garter, the hands. too oh. much on it. Thought Harrison touched it. Point Just to out. UNF. But that's the shot. See how Harrison's hands are there. She has that diving hand in. Use it to your advantage. Try to go off those fingertips. Get the easy kill. It doesn't always have to be about power from Garter. Garter sets. Borgiati, Ooh. big kill inside the line. 19 all. Point for point. Borgiati, you can see she's, you know, experienced, focused, but fired up. Harrison. Oh. That brings the Ospreys to set point. Again, it's all about being stopped. Even if you're retreating, even if you're making that read, you do still have to stop against a powerful hitter. You know Harrison has the ability to make those chop shots. Get your feet set and make the play. Oh, oh, good get. Oh, Garner with the overpass. Great dig. Oh, and wow. there's the set for the Ospreys. 21-19, hard fought battle between both of these pairs. And UNF grabs the lead in this duel. Very entertaining as the one pair duels should be. Stay with us. We'll check in on the other courts next, live from the ASUN Championship. Championship action is when the A-Sun is at its finest. That's why you'll want to visit asunphotos.com. A-Sun Photos is present at every A-Sun Championship, capturing the action, including those must-have shots that you may have missed or want to save for a memory. We understand your passion. So when you want to relive those favorite moments, players, and special memories, start with the experts from asunphotos.com.
championship action is when the A-Sun is at its finest. That's why you'll want to visit asunphotos.com. A-Sun Photos is present at every A-Sun championship, capturing the action, including those must-have shots that you may have missed or want to save for a memory. We understand your passion. So when you want to relive those favorite moments, players, and special memories, start with the experts from asunphotos.com. FGCU fans still holding out hope here in this semifinal matchup. Two of the three duels going on right now. The Eagles have taken the first set, but not this one here on court one. Oh, great spot by Garter. Good rally between these two teams. Good defensive play. Yeah, for FGCU, it's this is the court right now, right? You have to battle back. You're already down 2-0. This is the one you want to win. Your other courts have done their job. So far, we'll see. Crazier things have happened. Carter's big serve. A little too much on it as it goes wide. 21-19, the score there in the first set in favor of Roskich and Harrison. Hotly contested. Oh, great serve. She throws in that short serve periodically and always keeps FGCU off guard with it. There's Borgiati. Recovers well from that ace, gets a good pass. Nice setup by Garter leading her again. It's all about getting that ball in front of the attacker so they can see what's happening at the block. A great heads up play by Borgiati. Confusing moment right there, Aaron, as uh, Harrison was signaling to uh, hold off on the serve. So it appears as though they'll replay that. Just in. Three, two, UNF. Tight to the net. Roskic right in. on the line. Either the tape jumped to meet it or the ball made the tape jump. Either way, that ball's in. Yep, just in. Good read by Roskich. Oh, great get. Over on two. Garter. Kept alive by Harrison. Oh! Borgiati able to come up with the winner. No, bo no body control in that whatsoever. Just is able to use her wrist and good hand control to go off the hands of Harrison. And then change 4-3. Hey, see you trying to hang in there. And to get that emotion up. Kirstein Garter will serve from down in the corner. Great serve, staying down this time with the floater. Top, spur, top spin serve being a little bit too unpredictable for Garter right now. Not wanting to rely too heavily on that. Just getting the ball over, making it playable. Still a pretty mean serve. Oh, good touch. touch by Garter. Great spot by Roskett. She's been beat and burned on that spot a few times, so going to it, getting the easy kill for North Florida.
Harrison, help from the net. Oh, oh, just out. FGCU oh, just unable out. to recover after that serve. Clip the tape there. Six four Ospreys. Good get by Garter. Good swing by Roskich. Garter, it's good. Kirstein Garter. Makes a great dig, gets up. You know, that's what's so different about Beach is that you can, you have to get back up. You make a good dig, you're in the sand. You've got to get right out of that sand and make a play. And indoor, you can do a roll because there's five other people that have to make a play <laughs> on the ball. Indoor, it's just you two. Oh, good spot. Down the line for the point. Back even at six apiece. FGCU needs one win to tie their single season record for wins. It would be this one against UNF. They've got an uphill climb though right now. Easy peasy, good job by Borgiotti tracking that ball across the net. Really good lateral movement. Tough serve for Harrison. A little bit tight. Roskic just not putting it where it needs to be for Harrison to take a swing. Again, good tracking by Borgiotti. Harrison, lots of power. And that makes it 7 7 and an end change. No chicken wing working there. Nope. A little bit too much heat from Harrison. Again, this UNF pair trying to avenge a loss to Garter and Borgiati on Friday in straight sets. And they have taken the first set here. Even Steven at seven in the second set. Great swing off the hands. Again, my favorite swing in volleyball right there, folks. Just off, it's so, you know, it, a lot of effort goes into it. It's not by chance, but it's the perfect swing in volleyball. It's indefensible. No defense is designed to play outside of the court. Carter serving at 8-7. Great play, hits the tape. Right smack on it from Roskic. And good serve to set it up, but Roskic, again, has made that error in the past, finally refines it, finds the line. Good second take. Borgiati pounds it down into the corner. Back and forth they go. And Borgiati is scary because she can Power, soft, finesse, basically any single spot on the court. You know, she's just so efficient wherever she attacks. Only been blocked once. Very low error so far in this match, too. Harrison goes wide this time, and it's 10-8 now for FGCU. There's Borgiati. She was part of the all-tournament team here in 2018 with her then-partner, Ashley Glicker, and that one goes wide. We've really seen FGC, FGCU struggle at that service line today. I mean, they've four, given five, away a six, lot of points. Seven there. errors, yeah, on just serving errors, and in a tight match, you just can't you can't do it. You, you don't have time. You don't have the space in a 21-point set. You just don't, especially when you're again trying to fight back, trying to stay alive in this tournament. Great spot. Borgiati giving the serve right back to the Eagles. UNF has won this ASUN championship twice in its history, but it's been a long time. Stetson's been the only one winning it of late. 
Oh, great block by Borgiani. Look at the hustle from UNF, though. Wow. Oh, Locked at the net. Block. Oh, that's how you want to finish that play out. Defense on defense on defense. Harrison brings them to their feet with a huge block headed to the media timeout. 11-10. It's intense on court one. It takes a team. It takes a team. It takes a team. To create great facilities. To show us how to lead. And to serve. To train and condition to win. To teach and reach minds. To instill character and confidence. To build champions in competition and in life. Join our team. Join our team. Join our team. Support Eagles Athletics. gotten blustery here just in the last few minutes at the Cooper Beach Volleyball Court, and that'll affect the play for sure. Great spot. Tried to use the power against Harrison left and right. Finesse is the key right now for FGCU. Finesse Gulf Coast University. Hmm. And with the, with chicken the, kill, the chicken wing does not land in this time. That's really become a thing. It's like my favorite thing, I think. We've got the steak bite, we've got the chicken wing, we've got it all. Great swing by Harrison, though, just outside oh, the hands see. of Borgiati. Yep. Too tough to slow down for Garter. We've seen Garter win points with that defensive chicken wing before. Oh, got to go off the hands. At the last second, dropped Harrison. Borgiati's going after the hands. Good read by Harrison at the net. It wasn't just a, a really errant swing. That was an, the intention was to hit off the hands of Harrison. The hands have to be there for it to work. Good dig by dig. Roskich. Down the middle, the kill. Roskich, and this. Very vocal UNF contingent, her teammates behind the court. They are loud and proud back there right now. Tight, tight. Oh, yeah. Flip the net, thing. landed in. Just like that, 13-13. The UNF players, the teammates, the bench, if you will, much more vocal than FGCU here this morning. Oh! A <laughs> little bit of sigh of relief there mm -hmm. for a second. Carter's there. Harrison, big swing and a big kill to tie it at 14. Borgiati, I mean, she's showing she's going to go cross, right? Her shoulders are all parallel to the net. Borgiati taking a little bit too much line, leaving that seam open. Tough play for Garter to try to play defense against that. So it looks like it's gonna likely come down to this court as expected. 
Hits the spot. tape for Giotti. It's good. FGCU's pair has won the three pair battle over on court three. Hamilton and Parmalee in straight sets to give them their first dual point. Five dual points for FGCU on court two right now as well. That's good. All about court one. Eagles about to wrap up the duel on court two. Can they come back all the way back? Roskic with the serve. Borgiati oh, with the kill. Oh God, she's right there. At the last second, changed her mind. If she would have kept that tight in, the, in that underhand dig, she would have had it. Oh, changed her mind at the last second. Watch her change her mind. She's going to go up. Could have had that dig if she just would have stuck with her first instinct on that play. Oh, so close. Oh, another miss. Order a huge. Gosh, that's the name of the game for FGCU right now. My goodness. Error right there at 16 all. The Eagles two pair on court two have just wrapped up their duel. So FGCU is drawn even. Two apiece. That one is awfully close in the corner. He's gonna check it. I think that ball's out. He's gonna check it. Awfully close. Awful it might have hit both lines. It might have. It's in. Oh, it's he's calling it out. Oh, it's in. He's calling it in. What is okay. this? Okay. He's calling it in. Okay, the call <laughs> is. Confusing myself. It is in. So the point does go to FGCU. They lead at 17 16. They've got to force wow. a third set to stay alive. That corner is hidden by the sand, so. Oh, poor Giotti. <laughs> Roskic wanted that one, but at the last second, poor Giotti. What she does so well is that inside hand. She does not get eaten alive by that inside hand. Look how dropped that thing is. She's taken away two zones with that right hand. So far pressed over the net. FGCU showing wow. a lot of <laughs> fight right now. I've got the chills. I'm standing up. I'm like all in this. It's kind of like I'm playing, but I'm not. <laughs> well, you know, you're not too far away from your great playing days at dreams. UCF. In my dreams. So just to kind of bring you up to speed, UNF in the first two duels, they won the four pair and the five pair to go up two nothing in this best three out of five. The Eagles three pair of Hamilton and Parmalee won on court three. And then their two pair of Johnson and Whetstone have just wrapped it up on court two to draw the whole thing even at wow. two apiece. They're still in this thing. What a incredible comeback it would be. But Garter and Borgiati have got to win this second set to force a third set to give themselves a chance. And this is how close it felt yesterday, even though, you know, it wrapped up a little bit differently overall between UF and UNF and FGCU. This is how close it felt all day in that first one. And that's what I was talking about in the open about context. Yeah. This is the context we're talking about. Such a good match so far. You know, big rivals, see each other a lot, play each other a ton. Any given day, either of these teams can win the match. Harrison, yes. Great spot. 18-17. Change ends again. And you know, we've talked about the fact that the UNF contingent has been louder, but all of a sudden the Eagles folks have started to come alive with some hope since they have grabbed a slight lead here in the second set. And right now, if you're FGCU, it's all about getting that first pass, good dig location. UNF have to be strategic on that serve. What are you gonna do? We've seen Roskic serve that ball really short, making Borgiotti kind of run forward and make that pass where we've seen her struggle a little bit. Goes right to her, good pass. Tight to the net. Good win Borgiotti. Borgiotti, way to hang. But Harrison is right there at the net. We've seen her dominate that, that net all day. Really good control. But Borgiati seeing that, that's, she set herself up for that yeah. tip. She hit it off the hands like a high free ball, waits up there, and then makes the swing. Stick-to-itiveness. 
1917. Kirstein Garter to serve. Oh, sh little bit shank of a pass there. Good Garter read. pokes it over. Oh. And it's good. Miscue on the defense, but great heads up play by Harrison. You know, that first pass shanked off Rossvich's hands. But both being caught kind of middle, middle in no man's land. And great read by Harrison to take advantage. Timeout. It couldn't get any closer than this. 1918 FGCU. Two points away from forcing that decisive third set. Boy, if it were to come down to that, the intensity around this place would be just incredible. It's already wild out there. Look at the UNF team. They're bringing it today. There is no question FGCU trying to respond in kind. Number 25 for FGCU, Lexi Hamilton, junior from Naples, Florida, getting pumped. <laughs> Hamilton, part of that three pair that one a few moments ago out on court three. She's a UNC Wilmington transfer into FGCU. But here we are, 1918 FGCU, court one. Borgiati brings it to set point. And we've seen her be so good about reading where that block is. The one time she went for it, kind of took an errant swing. But as she's falling away from that ball, she's able to just chip it off the hands of a very, very good skilled blocker in Harrison. Good get by Garter. Hustle it down. Go. She's oh, kept alive. Just Twenty to nineteen, still one more there. set point <laughs> yeah. for the Eagles. And right now it's first ball kill, right? All you have to do is get a good pass and get a kill, and this is that closes this set. Now they will extend it to a third if FGCU wins, and they have the technical advantage right now because they are on the receiving side of the ball. Twenty nineteen, Carter digs it into the it's open in. court. It's good. Wow. Wow. Second set to FGCU. Identical but flipped. And they are still alive. The Eagles have come back from two duels to none down. And in this one pair duel, they have come back from a set down to force a deciding third set for the whole thing for the right to face Stetson in the championship. Drama at the Cooper Beach Volleyball Courts. What do you think is going to happen in this Phoenix game, Chuck? Well, I think Phoenix is going to win. Okay. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be high scored. Okay. <laughs> Gary the boom. Yo, is, yo, TK, what's going on? What do you say about the total? Take the over. Yep. Yep. That's right. Yes. Are we still on the air? Man, y'all unprofessional. Oh, yeah. Take human bites. All customers get a risk-free same-game parlay on the NBA playoffs every week, only on FanDuel Sportsbook. Cell phone repair. Did you know Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need? Just get a quote at libertymutual.com. Really? Let me check that out. Oh, yeah. I think I might get a quote. Not again. Ugh. Come on, Rice. Do your thing. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. The octopus is one of the most fascinating creatures in the ocean. All right, check this out. Wow! Look at it floating.
Joe on. The Set three in the deciding duel in the semifinal. One pairs, and it starts with an FGCU point and a big kill from Borgiati. That's a statement, I would say, putting a stamp on that one. Great swing by Borgiati. The winner of this set advances to the championship a little later to take on Stetson. Woo! Oh, and it lands goodness. in! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. You wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. Right. My goodness. How Hail Mary effort. Could have been an ace, but nope. Somehow. Drops right in. Wow. Borgiati, too much on that one, and it sails on her well wide. And super long draw on that time. Normally, she's got that elbow wrist snap. It comes around fast, just a little bit too long in that kind of cocking position of that arm swing. Has to beat that ball, get around it fast. Great job by Harrison to put that one away. Tight to the net. Again, the sec people that are more aggressive on that second ball, you know, you just create more opportunities for yourself. Great play by Harrison. Remember, third set, it's a sprint. First to 15. Takes the duel. What a play by Roskic stepping up at a big moment. 4 1 UNF. And of course, in this abbreviated third set, they switch sides every five points. How even are these two schools? They met three times in the regular season. UNF won two of the three. And then FGCU tied that overall on Friday by defeating UNF. So they're 2-2 two -two against each other this year. And here we are, 2-2 two -two headed into the deciding third set of this match. So evenly matched are the Ospreys and the Eagles. Couldn't get any closer. Great spot. Kept alive. Oh, down. And it's wide or long as it were, and the point goes to FGCU, but gotta so hand it to UNF on the effort right there. I mean, I thought that ball was down. Great get by Roskitch. Oh, Blocked. that's what you want. And Poor just Shiati. like that, you're within one. One error, one block. And yeah. those compounding errors, I'm telling you, they just catch up. They do. They catch up so quick. Harrison, Carter. In the sun without the shades. Roskic right at Garter. Could really do nothing to defend herself from that as she had to wipe off the shades. And the Ospreys now on top 5-3. At the last second, that left hand of Borgiati comes in, trying to take away the ball. Stay in that zone. You have that block. But what a powerful swing from Roskic. Go off the hands of Borgiati. Cut it too short. And the serve now for Donna Roskic. Borgiati over the top spot. and into the corner. You know, Borgiati had two swings on the, when they were on this side so far in this third set that went into the block. She really wants to use that power. But when she has that soft shot, that finesse shot, and she uses it effectively, she's unstoppable. I mean, she really is. Yeah. She's got it all. It's just a great pair. Oh, good pat, good recovery. Harrison. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, off the hand. That's a nice shot. Found that right spot on the court. Six four Ospreys. Urging each other on with a 6-4 lead here in the 
Siding third set. Carter and Borgiati, they've rallied back before. Can they do it again? And it's seven to four. And in the, the third set, I mean, that 15 is so close. It's only six points different, really, but it feels like it's cutting that set in half. Mm -hmm. You just don't have the time. Antonia Harrison, the redshirt junior, ready to put it in play. Borgiati got a lot of court to play with and wins the point. And that was an important one, I think, right there for the Eagles. Yeah, you want to slow down the run. No more two-point runs for UNF if you're FGCU. Yeah. Right now, if you're at UNF, it's all about just keeping your game plan. So far, it's worked out for them. They took that first set, taking it over on two a little bit here and there, being a little tricky. We saw them discussing a little strategy before the Borgiati serve Ooh, just, just goes over. Oh. Garter, yes! <laughs> Shows the world she wants to slam it, and then at the last second finds the finesse. <laughs> They constructed that point beautifully. Every hitter in the in the world would want to slam that on the 10, well, there's no 10 foot line in here, but the three meter line or that three meter section followed up with a service error. Those are so critical in the third set. You just can't give those away because of how close, yeah. how short this set is. Had a chance to Redeem herself and it hits the line. Woo. It's good. Wow, game of inches, Aaron. That's how I feel about this match. It's literally Ooh. like that close, right? That's just <laughs> and uh, you know, a perfect analogy of how close it is. And of course, it, uh, in a larger sense, this rivalry this year. Yeah. As close as it could be. And all the while, Stetson is waiting in the wings. Harrison, beautiful play down the line. Just indefensible. You know, the block was set up great. That spot's just open. You know, it's just that spot, that sweet spot over the block. No defense is designed to get it. We're a long way from Auckland, New Zealand, the hometown of Antonia Harrison as she serves. Oh, Borgiati blocked in the point for the Eagles. And so far, Borgiati really has found that rhythm in hitting off the hands, and it's because she yeah. has all that power. When that ball's in front of her, she gets that momentum, she gets that arm swing back. So much power behind that arm swing, she's able to just blast through that Harrison block. Roskic, Good blocked by Borgiati. Incredible, two in a row for the Eagles. We're tied at nine. And just tracking, touches, tracks, 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 and reads that spot. Of course, everybody's crunched in. They're expecting Borgiati to, you know, block that ball right in front of them. That's right. Nine all. Carter. And oh, it just, just misses the line by inches. And that's all block set up. That's all block set up. Here, the way she was set up, it looked like she had the line. It looked like she had more of the line on that attack. Harrison per setting it up perfectly. And Garter just missing it wide. What a serve. What a serve by Roskic. And what a time to drop that one in. Oh man, 11 to nine. And that serve is so hard because of how the angle at which the passer has to pass the ball. Again, they almost have to make a U shape to get those hips back around inside the court. If they put those hands out, it has to be timed perfectly or else it's gonna shank off the hand. So that spot is vulnerable anyway. But when you put it on the line, man, that makes it 10 times harder. Ruggiati. Harrison, Carter can't handle it. 
Three in a row for the Ospreys. They move to within three points of clinching it. And a timeout called for. You can cut the tension with a knife around here. So what could the coaching staff be talking to with these two pairs right now? All strategy, a little bit of emotional support, combination of both. All strategy. When you have your ones pair out there, you know, you don't really have to talk about technique. You don't have to talk about making the right reads. It's all about the strategy on the offensive side of the ball because you know that the foundation that you've set in practice leading up to this point, those things are going to be covered. Now it's about, okay, how can I outwit? How can I out finesse, outpower my opponent? Well said from somebody who's been there. Donna Roskic serving at 12-9. Roskic scores the point. Ospreys draw closer to closing it out. Just a great decision for Harrison to peel off. Just makes Borgiotti and Garter think one more second about where they're going to attack the ball when they peel off the net. Borgiotti, oh incredible I mean, dig. What are you going to do? What can you do? Harrison did that before wow. early in the set wow. for a winner. <laughs> Being stopped on defense, boom, right there. That's why. <laughs> that is why you're stopped. Five match points for UNF. Garter, it goes wide, and UNF advances to the championship round against Stetson. As good a battle as you're gonna see at the A-Sun Championship. Woo. Close as can be. Garter just missing this one wide. Congrats to UNF for going to the ship. The Ospreys win 3-2. They win the one pair, two sets to one, and they will have a crack at Stetson in the A-Sun Finals this afternoon. Wow, stay with us live in the land.